Okay, here we are. We're still working on this Cadillac headliner. A client decided that he wanted to take the Cadillac logo and incorporate it into the headliner. So what we've done is we have just built a template out of cardboard. And here's the other piece, which we'll be using for the back side to do a flush out. So let me kind of show you how we do that. Let me flip it over and we'll show you the other side. All right, now here we are on the back side. What we've done is we've just found our center point um, through the headliner. It was about 19 inches from end to end and decided which direction we want the logo to be facing. We took our other template that we cut out of the cardboard and we just set that up there in place and traced it out. And we're going to go ahead and build, build a template out of wood, but just so you can kind of see, get an idea how we did that. We're going to do a flush out on this piece, so stand by. Okay, now what we did, I just drew a line, you can see just kind of a square box. This is a lot like doing a headrest monitor TV screen. And we're just going to take a Dremel, we've just cut the drill bit off so it doesn't go all the way through the headliner material, but just through the cardboard. I'm going to go ahead and cut that out, and then we'll pull it back so that we can reupholster it. All right, we're going to go ahead and cut that out. That's going to give us, so that we can pull some material back. And here's our templates. That's the one we use for the back. That's the one we're going to actually cover with the cream leather, and this is the piece we just cut out. So we'll go ahead and get started on that. Okay, as you can see, we've just kind of pulled this back. It's just kind of like skinning a cat, or I guess skinning a deer or whatever. You just take, you just break it away, you just pull this material back, and kind of see we've already done that, and then just break off the extra part. And then as we get done with that, can just kind of trim it up and then we'll fold it up like this once we get the edges all smoothed out but you just pull it back just enough to get some carpet on there get some glue on there all right what we did here we just took our cardboard cut it trimmed it in and that's kind of what we have to look at but we're going to build this with some masonite board that we've cut and then we'll vinyl that in the yellow put it all together okay here's our cardboard one that we trimmed out and we just put that over here on the masonite and trimmed that out. We glued that down and we used this Keystone High Temp adhesive and we'll use that also for our vinyl that we're going to put over the top of this. So we'll go ahead and get started on that. Okay, we went ahead and vinyled this. It looks like it's all done. And there's the hole. And then we'll just put that in its place and mount it how it needs to be. We'll mount it from behind we'll show you how to do it. Alrighty, here's your Cadillac logo. I still got to mount it from behind, but that's kind of what it looks like. Just a basic flush out. So I'll show you how we mount it. Okay, to keep our weight down, what we've decided to do is just do some metal blue straps, go all the way across. We're going to use that uh, spray adhesive again, that high temp spray adhesive, and some duct tape and just hold that in place. That should be sufficient. You don't want to add too much weight to this because it is a headliner and you don't want it to sag so uh, with those metal straps uh, duct taped in there that'll be pretty strong so go ahead and do that all right back sides all done we've reinforced it just duct tape the edges that's really all you need to do and this will be plenty strong enough we put several layers of tape on it kept the weight down and you look at the other side it looks real good so it added about six ounces to the actual headliner itself but she's all done go ahead and put her back in the car it's all done it's kind of a final view the next one we'll have it up inside the car but that's it Yeah.